So can you kind of walk us through that three there you shot in transition? That was obviously a really big shot. Yeah. Um, what was it? I think I think he's coming off the horns action. Um, you know, and then we kind of have that two man game with I, I believe it was Braden and Z kind of for that that lob and that pick and roll and then. You know, just we kind of like to have a base pin in that opposite side or that occupied side just to kind of get the defenders going. So I think it was Hauser just, you know, helped it. I was able to get the shot. What's kind of giving you the confidence to take those shots in those moments? Um, uh, well, my, my teammates were yelling at me because they told me I, I should have taken a couple in the first half. <laughs> so I was like, if I don't shoot this, I'll probably get yelled at again. So I was like, might as well throw it up there. But no, nah, um, you know, just working on it. Um, you know, knowing Coach Painter, um, believes in all of us to shoot and um, you know that he has full confidence in us. When the shots weren't going down, you were getting to the free throw line and getting free throws. How valuable is that to still put points on the board even though you weren't hitting shots? Yeah, I, you know, obviously with, with how hard the physical Michigan State plays, um, you know, if you're not hitting shots and you're not rebounding, not guarding, like you're, you're screwed. So, um, you know, we made it a big emphasis of, you know, the physicality and trying to get those second chance points when we can. Um, you know, when we get them in rotation, it's hard for them with their box out responsibilities. Um, so just being able to, you know, take advantage of that. How much more? Inbounds play, and is it kind of trying to lure you into a charge? How did you avoid that and stay Yeah, oh, uh, Coach, Coach Payne actually, uh, he called it, he knew it was coming, so he was right there on the baseline. Um, and he told me he'd be talking to me the whole time and uh, yelling, stop, uh, once they, you know, kind of started to do it. So I, I just heard him yelling, stop, 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 stop. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> How much more comfortable do you feel in your team game with, with ED right now and, and being able to take some of those into your passes and know where he's going? Uh, are you talking about like when I'm throwing it in? No, when, you're, when, you're, when he's in the post and you're trying to like find out. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of what we work on. Um, you know, we call it our post action. And so, um, you know, we trust Zach so much that to, to make the right lead, which he does almost all the time. Um, you know, whether it's going to get a bucket, throwing it out, um, get that little dunk down to me or whoever it might be. So um, it's definitely something that we work on a lot as a team and something that's big for us. When yeah. Tyson Walker gets going, you know, offensively there, you know, he, he scores like 12 straight, I think, yeah. for Michigan State there at the end. Just, what are you guys telling each other on the defensive end of the court to, you know, make sure you're staying in your defensive responsibilities? You're not getting sucked in when he, you know, uh, penetrates in the interior and, and yeah. he's making some good shots in the drink. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a really good player, and they've got, you know, a ton of great players as well around him um, that can shoot. So, you know, at the end of the day, Coach Coach Payne talked about, like, when – when it gets loud in there, just there's one thing you can do, and that's your job. So just keep doing your job. Just keep sticking to what we preach, what we talk about, what we go over, day in and day out. Um, you know, and trust in what's got us to this point. How indispensable is Zach one on one in the post? Because I mean, he made the right move again in that yeah. situation, but when he's about to double, he'll kick it right back out. I mean, this seems like one on one. He's going to go up. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we like that matchup with anybody in the country one on one. So. You know, like I, like I said earlier, we trust him to make the right decision, whatever that may be, and, you know, he did it every time tonight. Um, I'm sure you remember being a true freshman playing in games like this last year, but that said, your thoughts on what Fletcher did here mm -hmm. down the stretch. Yeah, Fletcher, uh, he's got a boatload of confidence. <laughs> so, um, it's awesome just to watch watch him play, watch the confidence that he plays with, and just um, to see how well he handles everything. Does that attitude from Fletcher and Braden, is it infectious? Does it kind of see throughout the rest of the roster when you see those guys not really phased by anything? Yeah, I'd say so for sure. Obviously, um, you know, energy is contagious, both positive and negative. And so, you know, when you have guys like that that bring such great positive energy uh, through their confidence and just through the way that they play and the way that they carry themselves, it's definitely, you know, I think it's definitely infectious. Uh, back to the three-point shooting real quick. You're really starting to connect from the corners. Just how important is that to your ball screen offense there when the guy anchored in the corner is a uh, threat to do that. Yeah, yeah. like I said, you know, we try to, you know, get a lot of guys holding corners, um, get a lot of base pins in the corners, um, and try to work it throughout our offense. And so, you know, we work on those a lot, um, just those corner threes and, and practice and stuff. You just feel like you're in a pretty good rhythm right now shooting those? Yeah, I'd say just, you know, I just kind of try to take it one shot at a time, focus on each <laughs> shot. Um, but yeah. Michigan State defended ED one-on-one -on -one first time in a while that he hasn't been doubled. How does that change just everyone else's mindset? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, kind of like I've just been saying, we trust him to make that right decision. Um, 
but we know that no matter no matter what their defense is, no matter what they throw at him, um, you know our jobs stay the same on offense. Our post action rules, and so we're just going to keep doing those and just keep trusting him to make the right play.